Okay, gonna do a quick one today. Um, working on this amp, haven't worked out all the bugs yet, but uh, we getting there. So anyway, this um, video is really not about this amp, but just uh, gonna show how to test for um, a harmonic feedback, like a squeal or getting feedback through the amp, or an AC hum. If you got a scope, you uh, should be able to see it pretty easy, but most people don't have a scope. So anyway, here's a, uh, a cheap or quick test, but you will need a meter that reads um, peak and RMS, or peak and average. You would need a, a meter that's switchable for both. And we're going to key it down with the uh, audio turned off carefully. We're on the uh, 2000 watt scale and we're on average with the watt meter. Going into a dummy load with a perfect match. Uh, we got about a 10,000 watt dummy load up there that we always um, broadcast into when we make these videos. So um, um, no bad SWRs and nothing crazy going on there. This is a Mako KW3 driving 11 um, M2057 tubes. But anyway, like we say, it's not about the amp on this one. We're still working on it, but we're going to make it quick and uh, key it down carefully because, you know, it's a lot of voltage and a lot of current on this thing. And so we're going to be careful with it and just key it down. Uh, Mike almost all the way turned off. It don't go all the way off. So we're dead keying a little over 300. I guess we'll try to modulate right quick. Turn the mic up. Audio. Listening to, um, turn the mic too far up. Listen to almost a thousand. That's RMS. But here comes the um, quick and cheap way if you got a, a meter that reads peaking RMS to see if um, you got a harmonic or something funky going on or uh, AC hum, AC leakage or something in there uh, without a scope. 300 watts RMS. We're going to unkey because we need another hand. And put the meter on peak, not changing anything else. Now, if the amp was working correctly and everything is perfect, should be reading the same thing when you throw a dead key. When you modulate, you're going to modulate more. But if the amp was working perfect, no AC hum, nothing crazy going on, it should have still been dead keying 300, not 500 like it is now. So... That tells me it's probably got a probably an AC hum. I don't think it's feedback or harmonic. Um, I think feedback. I'd see it on the modulation light there. That will light up when I fully modulate. Hello, hello, hello. And if it was harmonic, as much as I had this key down, um, I would have all kind of troubles. I think with it. So anyway, I'm pretty sure it's an AC hum. We haven't recapped it yet because it's got some. Um, heavy duty screw in caps in the bottom of this thing and we're trying to figure out how we're going to do it but anyway that's a quick video on how to tell if you got an AC hum or a leakage leakage with the caps or a harmonic or feedback something funky is going on again dead key no modulation 500 and let's see if we can reach around with the mic in one hand carefully Average drops to 300. That's telling you something's going on. And like I say, probably a, a AC hum got a bad uh, caps in the um, power supply. Um, and it's weird how this does it anyway. It's got these um, two transformers in series. Um, the way the output is wired up on the transformer. Each of those transformers is about um, 300 volts AC approximately. And like 450 when you change it to DC and of course it takes about 900 a thousand to run these tubes so what they do is they run these two in series not parallel that's how they do it on this uh, Mako KW and I think these um, can filter caps in the bottom are bad we would show them to you but that's heavy and we didn't had it on and uh, we play it safe so anyway we'll probably do that in a later video and maybe uh, change the caps and uh, uh, show what it's doing when it's ready and working right. But anyway, that's it for this one. Bye.